This is coral spawning. So I was in the water one night and wondering why all the fish that are day fish and usually sleeping were still awake and hovering all over the coral. And suddenly it dawned on me, I bet the coral was going to spawn. And it did, it was amazing. Indonesia. I didn't know these 17,000 islands existed before I learned to scuba dive. I didn't know this existed. And this is what I was greeted by the first time I saw Indonesia. This is a fishing boat, a chumi chumi boat. They fish for squid at night with kerosene lamps and bring the catch to the market the next day. I saw them for the first time up close when I went to the island of Komodo to view the Komodo dragons in the wild. Komodos are the largest monitor lizards in the world and are found only in this region. They actually kill their prey through the bacteria from their mouths and their claws. They slash out at their victims and then they'll follow them for three or four days. They use their tongues to smell and they follow them. They will actually eat one another and we actually witnessed this one time. I've lived in Indonesia a total of three plus years in my adult life. When I graduated college with a journalism degree, I saved my money for a year and bought a plane ticket to Australia. I learned to scuba dive and sail. My poor mother thought I'd be home in a month and I didn't return for four years. I remember riding on a bus in Northern Queensland on my way back from Cape Tribulation and a girl had photographs from Flores, Indonesia. And I remember thinking, I had to go there. So after I spent a year in Australia, I spent another in New Zealand. I actually traveled with the New Zealand Rodeo. And I saved enough money to become a dive instructor. And I bought a ticket to Bali, Indonesia. And this is what I saw. Manta rays. Amazing. At that time though, I didn't have a camera housing for any camera. I just taught people how to dive and explored the reefs. I was hired as a private dive instructor and toured all throughout Nusa Tenggara. I went to islands that no one dived on before because there were no charter operators there. Now, you can get almost anywhere in the country on the charter vessels, but 15 years ago, it was wide open territory for private vessels with no other commercial vessels in sight. We actually got stoned off of an island by people that we believe did not know about people with white skin. And in the past 15 years, many of the sites that I dived years and years ago have been impacted by the four Ds of coral reef impact. Damage, degradation, depletion, and destruction. This happens through poor waste disposal, pollution, sedimentation, overfishing, coral mining, tourism, and collections. All of this combined into an ecological collapse of 30% of the world's reefs within two decades. I know we don't want to hear about it, but we must. The aquarium fish trade in Europe and America is a market now worth more than $200 million a year. If you have an aquarium, do you know where you get your fish from? The use of cyanide is a very ecologically unfriendly way to capture the fish. It kills the reefs too. Cyanide fishing wreaks havoc on our reefs and to the fishermen that do it. They're killing the reefs and themselves for us in the West. You need to make sure you purchase captive bred animals for your aquariums and don't buy the exotic species. It's important people learn about this because we can actually all make a difference. I really don't want to come across as preachy. That was a stargazer feeding. This is an octopus hunting. We just need to refrain from buying the corals and shells that people sell because so many of it is taken alive and killed for the tourism trade. And corals grow so slowly. We have to know that the ocean is not an infinite resource we can just take from. 
that what we do actually affects it. And we must all team together and protect these amazing ecosystems. Because the ocean produces more oxygen for us than all of the rainforests do on land. We have to protect our oceans, and we have to want to. I portray the beauty of this world with my images in the hopes that you will want to protect it. It's an amazing world. These are porcupine puffer fish, harlequin shrimp, Diving in Indonesia, it's really home to me.